Hello guys, welcome back again. This time around we're going to talk about Sony's E3 conference. Wow. And wow, it's because Sony, this E3 has been rather cool. This is, these three is everybody's had really good games this year. There's no way I could say, wow, they were all bad, right? Uh, do I think anybody beat Bethesda this year so far? I would say that's still a no, because Bethesda had a really strong lineup. But Sony brought out the wow uh, really quick. So Sony basically, you know, in their E3, you know, they start off right away with a Bam, right? Last Guardian. It's been the game people wanted. You know, they originally showed the trailer years ago. And then, obviously, then mysteriously after that E3, the team got broken up. And the, it was said the game was dead. And then uh, and then Sony kept saying, no, no, it's still in development. And it left fans wanting. People who love Ico and Shadow of the Colossus are like, man, when are we going to get the Last Guardian? Is it going to happen or not happen? And wow, did Sony start off with a banger, right? Right off the bat. Last Guardian. And it looked graphically impressive. Looked like a puzzler, obviously. Uh, but I didn't really, outside of that, I'm like, okay, I didn't. I'm glad for people like it. Uh, I really want to see more of it first before I make a total decision. But it looked good. It's good for the fans who wanted that game. You're finally going to get you. And that's what this year at E3 was about. Fans getting the games they finally wanted, to seem like, a lot of ways. So that was really cool. Really cool to see that. It started off like, wow. Even if you don't, like, not into the game, you're like, wow, I, I can't believe they did that. Wow, they started off really strong. We kind of figured Un Uncharted 4 would be last, obviously, and it was. Uh, you know, Sony really hasn't dug deep in their library, which is kind of a shame. You know, they got, like, Legend of Dragoon, you know, the, the Battle Arena games. Sony has games they can make uh, that they haven't done in a long time. It's, they should be digging in their library, but they haven't. Uh, but overall, I didn't think there would be that many Sony, like, party titles that there were here at E3. I mean, Dreams looked really cool. We, it, it, you know, I think that could possibly be something that would actually be used on YouTube a lot if people were to make stuff to kind of do puppeteer stuff or like any, maybe little intros to segments, maybe like puppeteer videos because you can make anything you could dream of and like motion it through like a little play or whatever. That looks really cool for people who are imaginative and want to, you know, do that kind of stuff. That definitely was really cool. Really cool looking. For a little bit they showed of it, it looked really cool. And uh, I can't wait. Like puppeteer stuff, that looked really awesome. Really, really awesome. Uh, for a little bit, they showed. Now, the other game that kind of uh, Gorilla uh, showed their game, Horizon, and that game, was it Zero Dawn? That game looked really cool to me. Uh, you know, persons, again, the the modern world is gone, which just seems to be a theme in games a lot of these days. Modern world's kind of gone, and it's past, and they don't know why it's gone, and they don't know what happened. All they know is these, there's these mech animal-like creatures, and they're humans, and they don't know what happened to the humans the, from the before, and they want answers. It's, that's all she says, but she's walking around, and she runs into these mechanical monsters, and you can kill them, but, you know, she has, like, almost like a, I want to say a boss battle, and she kills it. So that was interesting. It was something different. You know, it was like it's something different that looked kind of cool, and uh, we'll have to see uh, Open World. Uh, had to see more of that. I was interested in that game. But despite all that, you know, they had, some, they had No Man's Sky, which I love that game. I'm sorry. The, all, like, seems like countless amount of words to explore to try to get the center of the universe. And I, I know I wouldn't make it to the center. I'd end up exploring everything. But that game just just looks really cool to me. The exploring and, and, de and destroy everything's destroyable in the game. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I'm all in. Let's go. So that game looks really cool. But Sony hit the double banger. That was the remake to one of, you know, everybody remembers the PlayStation 4, which one, which was, of course, Final Fantasy VII. Of course, that's the greatest hits version. Well, you know, some people don't like that. But anyway, that looked really impressive, and it was cool for the fans I know who are Final Fantasy VII fans who waited years for the remake. They want a graphical updated version because, to be honest, Final Fantasy VII graphically hasn't aged that well. At the time, it was an amazing, good-looking game, but it hasn't aged that well. And for those fans, it was really cool. Like, that was when it got exciting. Wow, look at that, Final Fantasy VII. And then they they kind of, they followed it up by the mother, and I mean the mother uh, announcement. That was a little game that came out of the game called Shenmue. Why do I say it was a mother announcement? Because they announced Shenmue three. On Kickstarter, need two million dollars funding. It's actually over a million dollars already uh, since E3 is over. And I'll say this: 
People are saying, why didn't Sony fund it? I think Sony, I mean, that game is not going to, it's going to cost more than $2 million. So clearly Sony probably funded some of it. But that was, this is probably a publicity stunt to make people feel good about it or, or people, in, you know, see how much fanfare is. And they, they're not going to, like, risk showing it at E3 if they didn't think they would reach the $2 million mark. And it's already past a million. It'll probably be funded easily by morning, by tomorrow morning. So Shenmue 3 is going to happen. And for fans of that, who remember this game, I remember I had Dreamcast late, late in the cycle, and I actually bought this game uh, or late in the cycle. Not this one, but I had the, uh, the other, I had another copy because I got rid of my Dreamcast later, which was stupid in the game. And it was mind-blowing, like the open-worldness of the game and what they did was never done before. It was an amazing game at the time. Now, if you've never played it play it now, you'll see some data stuff in it, the way they do things, but at the time, it was amazing. Like, you never thought that could be done, and when you saw that game, you were blown away. Uh, and so, if you any modern game that kind of, we would say, has the similarity to the, this game would be Yakuza, obviously. But uh, really cool that they announced it. And it was just like, bam, that was like the double bam, bam moment, retro moment. Like, you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they just did this. And then they kind of wore it down a little bit because they went right into Project Morpheus, which a little bit of it was kind of like, it kind of killed the tone of the conference for a little bit. And then they got off that and they went into other stuff, uh, other games. You know, they showed Arkham Knight because it's got an exclusive Scarecrow mission and uh, exclusive skins to it, which is cool. Uh, they showed Disney Infinity 3.0 because they're going to get exclusive uh, starter pack, limited characters, and Boba Fett's going to be in the pack. At least, you know, at least, I guess, to the beginning of next year, that that's exclusive. That was cool. Saw Battlefront again, which again looks amazing, and I just love that game. I can't wait for it. And then Uncharted 4, which looked graphically amazing. A Thief's End, this is probably the end of the series. I mean, you never truly know with video games, but it looks like it. And to see the driving sequence looked really... I mean, the shooting part was, of course, Uncharted, except with destructible cover, if the enemies don't miss like they typically do in Uncharted, that could really suck, but we'll have to see how it plays. And then the this, this chase sequence is really cool, just, you know, graphically and... And all the, you know, the whole, where you could go backwards and stuff and through fences and everything looked really cool. And that game looks really awesome. If you're an Uncharted fan, definitely awesome. A strong ending to the conference. It's funny because Sony announced after the conference, for those who didn't pay attention to their Twitter, that this September, a 20th anniversary PS4 DualShock 4, a 20th anniversary, let me get it right, a 20th anniversary DualShock 4 controllers coming out September for $64.99 with the original gray PlayStation cover colors and the original PlayStation symbol, which is this one right here in my uh, coffee mug, old coffee mug, right there is going to be the end of power button. That was really awesome afterwards. So anyway, overall, that's Sony. Again, I thought everybody had a good conference. It was a good conference. And I was really proud, excited for it. And now we just got Nintendo left. And overall, I thought everybody was good this year. I thought everybody gave us, the, if you own the system, every system or follow every publisher this year so far there's at least been a, they've had games to be excited for it's not last year where it seemed like every console maker like except for nintendo sony and, and microsoft kind of were a little you know duh. this year it's kind of like the gamers went out this could very well be like 2008 2009 where we had a lot of great games coming out like we're finally what the what is it like the the third year of this generation and we're finally hitting our stride it seems like so what do you guys think of the PS3? It's PS3. I want to call it PS3. PS4 conference. What do you think about Sony's conference? What did you think about... Of course, the Vita was barely mentioned, of course. It's it's dead. It seems to be, anyway. What do you think about the Shenmue 3 announcement? What do you think about Final Fantasy VII Remastered? A remake? What do you think about all the games they announced it? What are you excited for, guys? And like always, thanks for watching, and I'll make another video soon.